Alrighty, here we go. I'm going to give a reflection on A Tale of Three Kings by um, Gene Edwards. Um, first off, I just want to personally say that I did not enjoy this book. But that's only me, because I just don't enjoy novel type of books or theatrical style books. I like self-help books, improvement, self-improvement books, you know what I mean? Those type of nature, so... But there are a lot of good nuggets in this book, which I will go through. Um, this book is very easy to read. It's 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 very good spacing. It's off-white paper. It's not as thick or as long as you think it is. So it's, you could read this in like one or two days. Um, it took me about three days because I just wasn't interested. It just wasn't my style of book. So I had to kind of grind through, push through this book. But here, let's get into it. Um, in this book, you learn how to handle Christian leadership trials. You know, I personally never beefed. Never ever beefed with a church leader or anyone who leads over me. But if I did, I now know that God is who he is and that he chooses who is anointed. And you should respect that, even though you do not know why that person was chosen. You know what I mean? I've met people who are uh, similar to Saul and Absalom's style of kingship, which is definitely written in this book. And hopefully when I meet face to face with those type of individuals in church, I'll have the courage to imitate what David did, you know, when he was being hunted by Saul in the Old Testament, choosing not to fight back or kill Saul in fear that he would become like Saul and act like Saul, you know what I mean? This book is really for people who are facing or who are in a season of unfair situations, because we're all going to be in those kind of situations, especially when you're serving at church, you know, there's politics and pride and all of this stuff in every single church. So we are going to be in situations where nothing is going to go our way. But God gives us the choice on how we will respond to unfair situations. Let me say that again. We're going to be in situations where things are not going to go our way, but God gives us the choice on how we will respond to unfair situations. Also, if you find yourself in a broken state in life, the book teaches you how to handle it, and it helps you grow when going through brokenness. You know, while reading this book, I learned all people, even Christian leaders, have issues. They're human, and that we should not point at people's attitudes or their behaviors. We must respect God for who He is and who He chooses or appoints over us. Let me say that again. We must respect God for who He is and who He chooses or appoints over us. We will come to a place where we might have to deal with a difficult leader or even be betrayed or maybe even hurt by one, but God will always be a part of our struggles. Do not let unexpected beefs with leaders lead you to a path of ungodliness. Let me say that one more time. Do not let unexpected beefs with leaders lead you to a path of ungodliness. That is, that is really key. Um, I didn't really enjoy the dialogue or the writing, but the lessons of brokenness and humility really pierced my heart in many cases. This book is a nice short poetic type of book that is nice for people who are considering to be leaders in a church you can really learn from the three kings and their strengths and their flaws and apply them in your own style of leading i was reminded that god is sovereign man he's all powerful he's always in control even in the most unimaginable unimaginable situations the book was really good at expressing the emotions that david had when that were running through his head when he was facing and running from king saul from david's role in this book i learned to be humble you know don't fall into pride you know don't fall into slandering because the first thing you do when things don't go your way is you fall into your pride and then you start slandering the person that hurt you you know we got to break that cycle um, the brokenness that David was experiencing in this book was illustrated perfectly. I learned new things about myself when I tried to put myself in his situation and reflect on how I would have handled his problems. But um, the main thing that I learned was that true leadership can only come through brokenness under God's control and power. True leadership can only come through brokenness under God's control and power. God is always in control and we are just men under his power that in in every single tough situation, we face an opportunity to trust our omnipotent God. Um, the author was really good at um, showing me the story of David, Saul, and Absalom under a fleshy type of lens. You know, throughout the book, I kept reflecting over my own situations, my own sinful reactions, and pride. Even though I have gone through way, way more easier trials in my life, 
When I was reflecting on this book, I was able to realize that adversity was designed to break us into submission. One more time. Adversity was designed to break us into submission. God is going to put us in places where we have to realize that it's not us alone that's going through these trials and that we can't do it alone and that we should always submit to his power submit to God and we will learn through the process and be molded through it he will mold us through our trials he will always deliver us every time David's life was in dire straits he would constantly submit himself and we should do the same no matter what submission must come first before deciding to be a leader or to lead someone that is huge submission must come first submission to God must come first before ever deciding to be a leader or lead someone um, hopefully those those points I gave you will make you want to buy the book or give it a shot you know personally it, it, it is a good book it is a good book there's a lot of knowledge in this book you know if you're into novels and poetic type of stuff definitely get the book if you want to get the book I'm gonna leave a link in the description thank you for watching all right